Good afternoon, uh, friends and uh, mga kaontomisyon. Uh, today, I would like to share one of the basic of automation and uh, by this principle, uh, it's easier for us to configure sequence. We call this pneumatic sequence using ship register principle. My, many of uh, the PLC programmers uh, know this uh, ship register in electronics and electrical. Uh, but uh, I told you, uh, before uh, the advent of electrical and electronics, uh, we have uh, uh, mechanical systems wherein uh, one of the oldest technologies is hydraulics and pneumatics. And that is why this is also a tool to configure electrical sequence and also uh, some electronic sequence or a logical sequence in PLC when you do uh, uh, sequence, uh, sequential control. So the principle is this. So I have a one, two, three, four line here, and it's one line, it's line, should be uh, filled with air one at a time. Uh, uh, after every press, sorry, of S0, if I press S0, air will, line will go to one. If I press S1, air line will go to two. As I press S2, air line will go to three. And I press S3, uh, L, L line will go to four. So, and uh, S1 will reset uh, this uh, three two way uh, double uh, air piloted. S2 will reset this one, S3 will reset this one. Okay, so if uh, I do the sequence like this, uh, if I press S0, air will go to one and it will reset the last step here in S3. Okay, so it means. The only signal is coming from one, so to uh, actuate your actuators. Next, is I press S1, the airline will shift from one to two. That's why they call it ship register principle. Okay, so the blue line, okay? and uh, it will reset uh, S0, so that no uh, Overlapping signals. This is always the problem in sequential control. The opposing signal or overlapping signals happens when you do intuitive uh, designing of your control. So here, from line one to line two, then from line two to line three, if you press S3, uh, S2 rather, shift to three, and again, if I press S3, airline will shift from three to four. Okay. I have an example, okay, to show you in a simulation uh, things like this. And uh, here, this is what, what I did. So I do simulation. You can see this is the equator or the one equator, one step in our sequence. If I press S1, okay, this momentarily in it will extend. I press S2. Okay, the condition of this actuator will shift to the other one. <coughs> if I press three, the condition is shift to the other one. And make press S4, this condition will shift to the other one. So S1, S2, S3, S4, it will trigger in our ship register if you are, you know, ship register in VLC or electronics. But all technologies from electrical controls, you know, from uh, VLC controls, are derived from the mechanical systems, no mechanical tools. That is, we need to understand, no? especially in sequencing. Uh, that's why in, in our time, it's uh, better for us, uh, the, the oldest one, like me, I'm telling you, I'm already 51 years old. And during our time, we cannot study PLC in other uh, controls if we did not pass the pneumatics in the hydraulics control. Okay, guys, this is our lesson for uh, sequencing control using chip register principle coming from the pneumatic sides. Okay, see you more on the next lecture.